So I have a 2015 Chevy Impala. Um, last evening, I hit a raccoon that was running across the road and immediately noticed that my ambient air temperature went to negative 40 degrees. And since the ambient air temperature apparently has some input into the interior uh, air, uh, it's been difficult for cooling. So did a lot of searching uh, on YouTube again, looking for some video to show the replacement or the location. Couldn't find any, so I figured you know, it's a good time to make another video. Apologize for the truck. Um, to show the location and how how I got there. So um, come on along and we'll see if we can't get this thing troubleshot. So with the vehicle uh, jacked up on the front end, the bottom panel, there is seven millimeter bolts. Uh, there's one here, here, all along, all along this front edge. And it looks like they're probably at one point, there were some bolts there and another one over here uh, that were removed and not replaced so somebody apparently has been in here before not sure what that means but we'll take a look at it after we remove those I did notice uh, had a bit of a separation right here on the front grill or lower grill on that front bumper fascia and I already pushed it back in, but this was kind of popped out a little bit too, so it must have been a pretty good sized raccoon or something. But I did take a notice inside here in this front corner. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bracket right there that looks like it should be holding an ambient air temperature sensor that I don't see. But on the inside, right there, I see a plug with nothing plugged in. Not quite sure what's going on, but uh, this worked up until uh, I hit whatever it was that I hit. So somehow that come unplugged and got knocked out. So we'll tear that bottom cover off and see what's there. So um, I just realized that after, even after taking all those seven mils out, it looks like their purpose was to hold this lower black plastic air dam on. Because it would appear that this plastic is all molded into this front bumper. So that would be to actually remove the entire bumper. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to switch gears. And I'm going to remove these uh, little push pins, these plastic Christmas tree things, and should be able to get some access, I hope, in behind that uh, grill in between the uh, condenser and radiator and get down in there. So stand by for that. Um, these panel trim tools. I mean, this is a Harbor Freight. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive. I don't remember what I paid for them, but it's the entire entire set. And it's got some long-handled ones, and this is great for removing those uh, these push pins. Um, pretty good value for what you get out of them. All right, so I'm sure there's videos out there to show you how to remove these, but there's a double. Uh, there's a outer one that comes loose and it kind of pops up a little bit and then once that is out these just simply pop right out so pretty pretty easy to take care of so we'll just continue on and get all those out so after removing uh, 10 of those push pins around the outside perimeter here this whole cover should with 
any luck, just come off. Of course, yeah, something holding it. Looks like it just got a no, couple, just a push pin there. Yeah, looks like there uh, might be another one there. So there's two push pins that just snap into this. And guess what? No access down there yet. Alright, we'll continue on for the ride. We'll get removed these Torx heads. Let's see what this does. I'll disassemble it. Alright, well, that was unnecessary to remove the top. And what I did notice before was that plug is unplugged. And that, where'd it go? It's up here in the corner. This bracket is where the temperature sensor should be. So what I found was is you can remove a couple of these so you don't damage this. But really the only way you're going to get into this without taking the bumper off, which is my whole goal, is to just pull down on this and then you can get access in here. And you can actually see the plug. So you can plug it in and with a little contortion you should be able to, to get up there and reach that uh, ambient temperature sensor location and click it in. Mine is completely gone and because this was missing some bolts I assume that this has been replaced before and they didn't do a very good job of securing it so that that animal that I hit um, knocked it unplugged and it completely fell out because it wasn't snapped in the position. I do see some damage here from the prior owner that I bought this car used. So being as it's right there, I'll bet that they had a problem with it and they replaced it once. So this means I am going to set up for a trip to the auto parts store and get me a new ambient temperature sensor and get that plugged in. All right, well, I'm back from the uh, auto parts store. Uh, O'Reilly's Auto Part has this uh, standard air temperature sensor. Apparently this is a standard GM um, AX156 is the part code. I will say O'Reilly Auto Parts gives veteran discount of 10%. If you're a veteran, um, go to va.gov and get yourself a, a veteran's ID card and you can show that and you can save some money uh, on some places. Uh, I know O'Reilly's and Advanced Auto both give a discount for auto parts. So I like to frequent anybody that'll uh, give back to the veterans. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this secured and get this thing buttoned back up and make sure that my temperature gauge is, uh, actually I'm gonna show you the temperature gauge as it shows negative 40. So I apologize for the beeping, but you'll see this ice possible and negative 40 degrees on there. So that uh, pretty much says that the uh, the outside temperature is well below freezing. So that makes the inside air conditioning struggle to to turn on, especially when uh, it's the end of September and we've been having 90 degree plus days uh, for more than a week. And to not have air conditioning is just not going to fly. So um, it doesn't allow that uh, uh, HVAC system to work properly when it thinks the outside temperature is minus 40. So uh, fixing this is going to take care of that. I certainly hope so. We'll get this thing installed and uh, um, be right back. Well, that took, I mean, seconds. It was really easy. So you can see there the ambient air temperature is now in that position. And sure enough, that plug is now securely connected. So I'm gonna jump in and make sure that the system is functioning. All right, 
still says 40. Let's do a power cycle real quick. I want to do that. Okay. That is unfortunate. It's still getting minus 40. Time for some research. So it's up to 37 degrees. So I was struggling trying to figure out why after replacing the sensor, I got nothing. Did some research and somebody had said at one point, just drive it around for five minutes. So I got into the vehicle, started driving it. And I haven't driven really more than I don't know, maybe three minutes? And the temperature started going up from negative 40. It just continues to, to climb. Uh, right now it's probably in the 70s right this morning. So I'm going to assume as I continue to drive, it will continue to go up, and it is. So. A uh, little bit of a struggle after uh, replacing that sensor, but just know that it will uh, still show negative 40 even if you plug it in and scratch your head and try to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, take your car for a drive, and within just a few moments, you should get uh, the readings coming back. So, I certainly hope this helps somebody in uh, trying to figure out how to replace a faulty ambient air temperature sensor and uh, you don't need to re remove the front bumper you can reach it underneath and just know that you know, there's a little bit more work after uh, uh, after replacing it now again this is a 2015 Impala I've read things about pressing the AC and the recirc button at the same time and doing some reset none of that worked not until I put all the bolts back in, crossed my fingers, jumped in the car, took it for a drive, and uh, it's starting to respond uh, properly. So hopefully this helps. Uh, have a, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, any likes uh, are certainly appreciated. Take care.